What's up my dudes, Valk here. And today we're gonna be going over on how to do the new event and how to crush it. First I gotta swap you out. Uh, we gotta get you in with Dennis. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a new event with Treasure Hunter. This is by far the best team I found to do it. And before you guys ask, can I swap this person out with it? Try it, I don't, it, I don't know. You, everybody's gonna have different units. Uh, I know you guys are gonna ask if you can swap one unit with another. Yeah, but this is how you get to the new event. It's right here, Secret Dimension. You go to Crystal Cave EX, teleport, and like I said, you just run the Treasure Hunter category, and you are going to absolutely mog on this event. The only unit that I would say is absolutely necessary if you want to have an easy run. There's multiple ways to do it. I've beaten this with multiple teams, but if you want to have a very easy run, the only unit that I'd say is absolutely necessary is Shiro. Uh, Shiro is going to single-handedly take out the first three waves, uh, so that gives you time to actually fully set up your resource engine with Dennis. And yeah, we're going to go ahead, get this rolling. We're going to set the three times speed. I hope I don't mess up because I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm really focused on getting these videos done because uh, I want to get on anime crossover. So yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to go here, uh, upgrade this. And you guys can see what I was talking about with Shiro being able to take on the first three waves. Uh, this is just one copy. Every time we finish a Dennis, or not every time we finish a Dennis, we're going to get these two Dennis's done first. And then we're going to add another Shiro because he's going to want some help with this second wave coming. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and add a Shiro real quick. Just so he has a just so he has a little friend, you know, somebody to talk to over there. He might get lonely by himself. I, I just I haven't seen fate. Maybe he's depressed. I don't know. He needs a friend. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. And we have the two Shiros. We're gonna pop this so we can start getting some food going. And then we're going to pop this, and then we're going to just up this, and just keep going. And then we're eventually going to go here, and put down our third Shiro. And now we're going to finish this up, and you can see we have food now for our hungry boys, our growing boys, and give them some yummies. And then we're going to keep it pushing. Did you see that decimal point increase? Why is it? That's so funny. I wonder if it's only doing, yeah, it's only doing that for one upgrade. That's really funny. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and just keep it pushing, and we're going to pop this, and yeah. We're going to do this. Okay, so now that is going. We're going to pop this. Pop this. Okay, now we're going to make sure to feed the hungry boys. And then we're going to pop the buff. You got to make sure to get the buffs up because I forget a lot of times. I'm not very smart. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. Okay, there we go. Now that everything is up and running, we're going to put down the main star of the show, which is Gilgamesh. Uh, we're going to put down Gilgamesh. We're going to let Gilgamesh start trying to carry. Well, not trying to. He's just going to carry. And you see how I never once upgraded the Shiros because they've done their job. They're not getting upgraded. Um, we're going to now max out Gilgamesh. So we're going to leave Gilgamesh going all by his own little lonesome. Uh, you can see we keep auto skip off to generate as much money as possible. Because we are going to fully upgrade Gilgamesh. Uh, not little upgrade, fully upgrade Gilgamesh. So we are going to want to have as much time as possible to let Gilgamesh actually ramp up. And be really, really good for us in that regard. So next up we're going to put like a Shia Poof right here. We're going to put a Shia Poof right next to Gilgamesh, and then we're going to put a Shia Poof in the back right here. You want to spread them out because the boss coming through is going to be pretty tanky, although using Gilgamesh, the boss is going to get too far. But you just want to be safe. Rather safe than sorry, as they say, because you want to be able to just handle the boss just in case the boss is able to push through, and Poof is going to be able to provide that stun. Also, Poof is going to be our buffer here in a bit, but first we want to max out Gilgamesh before we do anything else. So Gilgamesh can get his max raise attack value. So yeah, this is why we're just kind of shotgunning Gilgamesh because we're just going to use his nuke and nuke the boss to hell. Like the boss is not going to be able to walk away after this one. Yeah, that's kind of where we're going with this. So now we're just hanging out, chilling. And we also have Mooj. Okay, so here we go. Now this is done. So now we can go ahead and crank this. We're going to crank you all the way up. And then we're going to go ahead and activate. Now we're going to place our Mooj, and we're going to come here. One, two, three, and four. And we're just going to get her to just full AoE. We're going to get each one to the full AoE right before the big upgrade. And we're going to go from there. All right, so now we're going to do it to the next one. 
Uh, full AoE right before the big upgrade. And then full AoE right before the big upgrade. Alright, so now we're going to slowly work on fully upgrading our Mooges, right? Do I want... Do we need this? You know, we can just wait. Yeah, I think uh, this poof alone will be enough to... Yeah, this poof alone is going to cover pretty much the entire map. So we're going to use this poof. Um, have set this poof to target strongest. And then we're going to work on the Mooge. Get the Mooges up. Because poof is going to buff Mooge to a crazy degree. So Mooge can actually contribute in damage. Uh, yeah, now we're going to be really good to go when the boss comes out. And you can see why we don't upgrade Shiro any. Because we just don't have the resources to do it. Uh, there's, it this team is extremely expensive. So it doesn't, it's not really able to get the resources it needs to go ahead and upgrade all the units. So we're just going to now hang out and watch Gilgamesh do his thing. Um, you can see we're at 1.07 bill right now. Uh, right now we have Mooj applying all of her effects. And we're shredding the boss right now. One more attack. And yeah, goodbye. Uh, uh, bye bye. Adios. And that's it. Hey, look, Sand Mage. He's really good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. That's Crystal KVX. Extremely easy to beat once you have this team. This team is very, very good at doing it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.